Good morning. Uh, once again, welcome to Transwest Truck Trailer RV here in Frederick, Colorado. And I just want to bring to you guys one of our 2020 Freightliner Summit Hauler conversions. Um, just saw one this morning, so I want to show you some cool features. Um, you know, what makes this truck unique on the market. Um, so today, like I told you, I'm going to bring to you this one actually just came on our lot just uh, a couple weeks ago. So this one is a 2020 Freightliner M2106 Summit Hauler conversion. Stock number here is 5N191494. One thing that's unique about this particular one that I did a video previously on um, is the interior. Normally the interior on our um, previous 2020s is black interior, but this one has that brown and tan interior inside with the brown leather, which is totally awesome when it comes, you know, it fits perfectly with the white on there as well. So we normally start off on the outside, so um, let's do that and then we'll head inside. And I had a previous customer who came in, uh, who called a couple days ago, I wanted to know like the length of the back seat once it, once it folds because he's, he's a little taller guy, so he wanted to know if he would be able to fit, fit behind there. So a little later on in the video, I'm gonna pull down that seat, do some measurements, and I'm gonna show you guys the exact measurements of those seats um, when they fold down. So I uh, look forward to that. I have my tape measure with me today, so I'm gonna show you guys that um, a little bit later on, all right? So we're gonna start off here with the tires and the engine. So on these tires, we got a brand new Michelin's 2280, 22.5 all our summit haulers come with auto balancers so directly inside here um, is our auto balancer device here um, basically what that does is save you the wear and tear on your tires and actually balance you uh, while driving down the road um, the cool thing about this is that you know like I said it saves you tons of money like the wear and tear on the tires and actually balances the vehicle so we have it on all four sections of the uh, vehicles all four corners so in the front and in the back as well so uh, while we go around the vehicle I'll show you guys what the back one looks like um, it does come with that uh, engine hot engine block heater um, plug in right here so during cold days and stuff like that you could always plug that in help you out there 50 gallon tanks uh, diesel tanks that is we got 50 on each side, so we got 50 on this side and 50 on the other. And then it does come with a six gallon depth tank on here as well. Um, on the 106s, on the, one, the 112s come with a 13 gallon tank, but on the 106s is a smaller depth tank, okay? Um, it does come with our trickle charger, so that actually charges the battery when not in use, so you could always charge this up, charge your batteries up when you don't use it. Um, the batteries are located in the back end of the truck, so it's in a case in here, well secured. Um, so if you decide to, you need a jump, let me just show you this quickly. We're gonna come over to the front end. So because the batteries are located in the back of the cab, um, we do have our jumper, jumper um, studs right here. So um, you got the negative, and the positive so you don't have to go directly into the battery so it is located right here okay while we're in the front here near the engine just going to show you guys what the engine looks like and one thing i love about the freightliner is the way they designed the engine is that it's so easy to work on and this particular m2106 comes with the cummins 8.9 liter l9 engine and it partnered with the allison uh, 3200 TRV six-speed automatic transmission. Um, this truck does come with the air, um, the air dryer system, which is located on the other side. If we just pop around, and I will show you that. Um, like I said, everything is easily accessible. This is our air drying system right here. And everything is color coordinated when it comes to the coolant, our window washer wiper fluid, our you know brake fluid and all that stuff, everything is labeled right and is easily accessible, like I said. Um, as we go over to the other side here, um, we do have that auto balancers on the right side tire as well. So you guys can see that. 
And when it comes to closing the hood, once you push it, it gives you that soft close and allow you, you know, not just to drop on anybody or injure anybody. Um, it actually allows you to, you know, close very, very lightly. So it doesn't damage anybody or we don't want any accidents or anything like that. Um, when it comes to the other 50 gallon tank, it's located on the passenger side of the uh, truck. So we have that a 50 gallon tank also here as well. Tons of storage, that's what a lot of customers love about the Summit haulers, is the amount of storage room we do have on, the, on, the, on those trucks. Um, these were built with three on each side, but um, we do have trucks that we build with more storage in the back end over here. So this door will actually connect to the other door and have a full storage unit in the back here. And we do have some with storage units on top of the bed aligning up here. But this one wasn't designed like that, but um, you do have options once you build one to have extra storage units up here. So just to show you what it looks like, um, it's all right lining inside here. Um, this allows for no moisture or no water to enter the, to enter the storage unit. And, it's, and they all come equipped with lighting. So if you look inside, they're all equipped with LED lighting. So if in case at nighttime and stuff like that, in dark places, if you need to see something, it's easily, you know, just switch that light on and you got light, of course. So it's gonna turn that off and close that. So this is the two uh, big storage and they are, they are connected. And then we have this storage here. It's a nice little small one as well. Um, which makes more space for storage. And just so you guys know, each storage box um, can be locked. So just know that um, you could lock all your stuff inside there to, to prevent anybody from stealing it or you know, go inside of it while you guys are parked at a truck stop or parked at home or just, just on your normal day-to-day -day, you know, driving, nothing will fall out. Just lock it up and make sure everything is safe. It does come with a bumper pool. Um, it does come with a seven pin hookup in the bottom of here as well. So right now we just added a plate just to have that smooth finish, make it look pretty um, while driving without a bumper pool. This particular Summit hauler was built in for gooseneck um, hitch. Um, this truck does come with the ball included. So you do have a 30 pound, 30,000 pound um, gooseneck ball that comes with this truck. Um, we could always convert this one into a fifth wheel hitch as well. We do have trailer saver hitches with our parts department. Um, it is air ride, so we could always install one inside there to take over the uh, gooseneck hitch. And with that trailer saver hitch, it actually allows you to put a gooseneck ball in there as well. So um, you have the option of both uh, fifth wheel and gooseneck on that hitch. So. That, if that's an option for you, we could definitely get with our parts department and our service department and have that hook on any of our freight liners for you. Um, when it comes to our camera system, uh, it does come with one camera um, installed already, um, but you have a hook up here for additional three cameras. So a total of four cameras could be hooked up to this truck and with the Voyager system we have it. So this would actually hook up another three cameras onto the Voyager system we have I will show you when once we get in. Um, and then we have the seven pin here for your gooseneck or fifth wheel, depends on which one you guys decide to put in here, hook up right here. Tons of uh, hooks here to strap down anything you guys have in the back of the bed. So they are adjustable, so this could go from way down here to way up here. So if you guys wanna hook anything up um, or tie anything down, those tie downs are adjustable and um, can be switched around. So you have that option as well. Like I said, we got the other three storage units here. Um, it's the same as the other side. Like I said, they're all lit, they're all lockable. So you have that option as well. When it came to the back tire, we got auto balances. So whenever you come and look at our summit haulers, just look out for those little um, metal circular things in, in the, the tires and those are 
are the auto balancers on the back end of the tire okay so right now we're going to take a look inside um, tons of entertainment tons of uh, great stuff so this is going to show you what the seats looks like here let's go all right so we do have the brown leather um, as you guys could see pretty awesome um, the front seat does come air ride so you do have the air ride as you can see just me pulling on it you can see how easy it is once you sit down on it it actually helps you you know going down the road with you know very rocky road it allows you to actually ride with the uh, with the conditions of the road so at the end of the day you know your back is not hurting you from you know big holes or big dips and stuff like that um, the front seats does come with cooling and heated seats so that's something to look forward to on cold days on hot days like today you could use those cool seats and it it does work pretty good so the comfort behind this is pretty awesome so look forward to a great comfortable ride when it comes to our summit haulers entertainment we have that dvd screen up here just going to quickly just point that, that out to you guys great quality um, when it comes to the back bench just going to do this video quickly for my customers who ask about about the back bench um, okay so while we have the option of turning this back bench into a, a bed um, of course people ask you know how does this remove this whole thing um, is split in two so we just bring the uh, seat belt all the way through and put it in the back so you have the full access to the bed um, measurements on this it all depends on how you decide to lay down if it's two of you guys want to lay straight down I mean it all depends on how long you are um, from door to door like you know I have some pillows up here it's about 69 inches so from the door to this door is about 16 um, well about 71 inches but uh, this the bench itself is about 67 inches if you decide to lay across which a lot of people do if it's just one driver um, want to relax while um, the other one is you know lounging in the front um, lengthwise um, horizontal corner to corner um, it's about 75 inches so it's more than six feet three inches so um, if you if you smaller than that it will work perfect for you so just to show you guys that um, and of course like I said and the, the width of it about 40 inches wide so it's more than two feet more than three feet um, wide so a, a nice little size for to have your kids back here even you I am 510 and, and I could lay down here perfectly um, without any issues so I mean it all depends on how tall you are you could either you know relax tilted this way and your legs go in this way I mean there's so many options for you and you could also use the the front chairs as recliners and you could actually bring the, the seat back um, all the way back to kind of relax that way as well so you have options for rest stops and stuff like that um, so that's a good option to to look forward to since we are on the back seat shows you how it reclines and goes back into a bench in the middle console you have cup holders um, here as well or armrests so you have that option here to put your cup your passengers to have the the cup holders here or we have a few in the front as well um, they could access as well uh, when it comes to our moon lighting we got two switches down here one will give you the lighting which is this and then the other one will give you the lighting which is a kind of cool um, heading to the moon kind of look um, up here so it's pretty cool um, when it comes to the back seat we got four ch USB charging ports in the back here which um, We'll show you guys a little bit later. Um, so when it comes to charging, we got tons of charging ports here for long drives or whatever the case may be. So you have the options here for USB chargers. 
while I jump in the front, I'm gonna show you guys more charging options. We got two charging ports here. Um, the black one is for our Apple Play, so um, it does have that Android Apple Play capability on the, on the system, on our Kenwood system. So once you plug in your phone into um, the black USB, um, it allows you to access Apple Play or Android Play. The gray one is just regular charging. Doesn't have to do anything with the uh, system at all. Um, you do have extra charging ports here as well. So two more charging ports here for the front seats. So a total of two, four, six, eight charging ports. <laughs> I mean, I don't see anybody traveling with eight devices at the same time, but just in case you have eight devices, you could plug in eight devices at the same time, um, which is, kind of, which is um, a lot, but it's pretty good to have. Um, when it comes to our Bluetooth on our Kenwood system, you could hook up two phones to, to the system, which is actually awesome. This deck does come with navigation. Um, it does come with uh, DVD player. It does come with radio, satellite radio. Um, you name it, um, we have it on this system. Um, when it comes to tilting this, this, the screen, because sometimes when you're driving down the road, the, the sunlight is so bright, you could actually, you, you won't be able to see what's on the screen. Right now, we're in a perfect spot that the light is not in our eyes, but you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven options of tilting the screen. So if I go into one, it actually bends it this way. I go to the next one, and while I go, it actually tilts a little more and more and more. So you have tons of options when it comes to, uh, you know, the way you could see your screen, especially using the navigation while driving um, down the road. Um, eject button, right now I got a DVD inside here, I want to take it off, um, should allow me to take my DVD out and of course close that back. So it does come with power windows, um, you, uh, the driver has access to all four windows, but on each door has a separate um, window, power window buttons, so both front and back has power windows so he could control his here um, or all four on the dash um, power locks is on the driver door and here as well um, come with cruise control our Allison transmission automatic transmission here reverse neutral and drive there is no park brake so um, there's no park button so we go in neutral and then we pull the uh, we pull the air brake, and when we leave in, we put it in drive, and then we push, and then we push that. So there is a safety feature on there that when the car is in drive, and you put the handbrake down, and, and any doors are open, the horn will just keep blowing to alert you that a door is open. So it's a big safety uh, a safety issue. So it's pretty awesome that it has that um, technology. So if in case anybody decides to open the door while driving and you hear that noise, just pull over on the side of the road immediately to allow that door to, to close, you know, so um, it's pretty awesome. When it comes to the back uh, cab, it does come with heated and cooling um, air. So if I put this on the blue, the air will be coming in through the back vents here for the back cab. But if you just want a AC or a heat to come through just the front, you turn that off. You turn the fan off in the back and you just have all the AC coming from the front of the cab. Um, it does come with trailer saver brake. Um, you got the regen button, your dump valve, heated mirrors, you name it guys, it's pretty awesome. So um, one of the big things I wanted to point out today was the back seat um, when it comes to the measurements. So I did point that out so, so all my viewers out there that really was curious about how uh, wide or how long those seats are you did have that um, answer today. So if you guys have any questions about any of the stuff we talk about today, or if you want further information, uh, please feel free to call me. I'll be in. I, I answer my phone Sunday to Sunday, in other words. So you can call me any time of day. Uh, my name is Marlon Bledman. Uh, you can call me at my office at 303-684-3412. Or my cell, like I said, Sunday to Sunday, um, 661 
755-4344 or you could email me at marlon.bledman at transwest.com and I'll be able to answer any of your questions or bring, or bring any of our inventory you guys see online um, or on AutoTrader um, on any of our inventory I could bring those live to you on our live feed here on Facebook or YouTube so um, like once again I will see you guys back here on Tuesday for another video with me but Larry will be here on Monday with another amazing video so look forward to that and then we'll see you soon for another amazing video guys so thank you very much for tuning in and have a wonderful weekend and I'll see you guys back here on Tuesday thank you very much